Hey everyone, in this tutorial we are going to design a vaseless centerpiece. In this design you'll want to pick an Oasis Floral Foam Igloo that fits your design. There are three sizes of igloos and here we have used the Grand. Oasis is the name brand term for the foam cage that we are using. Start with a few pieces of greenery to cover the plastic cage. Here I've used Salau. Place a few stems around the perimeter of the igloo as well as a few stems around the center of the wet foam cage. I do this so that I don't wind up using more flowers to cover up the foam and plastic cage. It also helps direct placement of the flowers as we get further into the design. Once you have your salau placed, I do the same thing with the Italian rescus. I distribute everything using various stem lengths to create depth and interest. In this design, you don't want everything hitting at the same length. In a design like this, it's really helpful to continually turn your centerpiece around so that you're able to address all sides and that you can make sure that you have no holes. Now it's time to place our flowers. I start with roses, one of our focal flowers, and place it at the base of the igloo to help cover it up. I start with three roses as a rule of thumb, and I make sure to place them all at varying heights and lengths. I continue on with some peach spray roses. If they have any bruised or guard petals, pluck them off before placing the stems in the foam. With this design, spray roses go a long way as you can break them into multiple blooms. You'll see here that I turn the igloo quite often as I'm designing. It helps with floral placement. Next, I move on to a few more focal flowers with these gorgeous toffee roses. Taking the same approach we used with the lavender roses, stagger their height and be intentional with their placement to create depth and interest. Once I'm finished placing the toffee roses, I move on to some ivory spray roses. Don't be afraid to change the position of the igloo to find the perfect spot for each bloom. Moving on to our linear blooms, we are using stock. Stock can be a little intimidating at first as its bloom structure is along the stem instead of one big bloom at the end of the stem. Placement of linear blooms can feel tricky. I like to stagger or stair step them back to another flower to connect them to the design. You don't want them to feel like they are rigidly sticking out of the arrangement or like a sore thumb. Now we are moving on to an accent flower called Tweedia. The multiple tiny blooms help give a different scale to the flower arrangement. Like with the other flowers, place these blooms at varying spots with varying heights. In turning the igloo periodically, I have found some spots that I need to address. I didn't use all of the greenery we have for this design all at the beginning, and I want to use this gorgeous Gunna eucalyptus now. I saved it for later in the design so that the arrangement wouldn't feel solely like a solid flower ball. It gives a different color and a different texture than the other greenery. In turning the arrangement, we have found that there is a big exposed area of foam. To cover it up, I'm using a few stems of the Italian Rescus. Next, I start filling in with a beautiful filler flower called Rice Flower. You can tuck some pieces in low, close to the foam, and leave some long, extending past the roses and greenery for a more whimsy look.
In finishing up the arrangement, I use a few blooms of spray roses and some leftover components. Any greenery or blooms you have left from your floral recipe, feel free to fill in here. Make sure the base of the plastic floral cage is covered up and fill in any holes or exposed floral foam. This is the time to add any longer pieces of greenery for reach to make the design have a bit more length. When that's done, the design is complete. I'm Allison with Bloom Culture Flowers, and thanks for watching this tutorial on how to make a vaseless centerpiece. Leave your questions in the comments below and make sure to check out the rest of our tutorials and blogs for more floral know-how.